If you're looking to feel some spooky vibes this Friday the 13th, Ryman Gardens is hosting their Spirits in the Garden event. Our own Teodoro Mito joins us live with more on what you need to know if you're planning to go this season. Good morning, Teodora. Good morning, Justin. Ryman Gardens is kicking off their Spirits in the Garden event officially tonight, but it's also taking place this weekend and next weekend as well. And right now I'm joined with Beth wessel Kershell of who's an events coordinator right here and tell us what activities are planned on certain days because we know that some activities aren't available every day. Right. Um, this is one of our uh, biggest and um, most exciting uh, shows this year and we have a sneak preview on Friday. So it's um, basically just coming out to see the jack-o'-lanterns at their freshest and so there won't be any shows on the Friday nights. On Saturday nights we have um, dance teams that will be coming out from Iowa State, two or three different dance groups that will be dancing um, on in different nights. We also have the ISU Chemistry Club, which is called SCUM, and they will come out and be doing lots of really exciting kinds of experiments that are kind of spooky with lots of fire um, and smoke and things, so um, everybody loves those shows. Um, we also have candy each night, um, sat or each Saturday and Sunday, um, from the beginning of the show to the end of the show, so no need to worry about um, when we will be serving candy. Um, it's really a fun event. Yeah, and so you mentioned the Iowa State students that played a part in this. What did all, how important was all of their efforts into helping plan this event, put it together? We absolutely can't do this without all of our volunteers. And so this event actually starts with um, the carving and the stenciling of the pumpkins. It's, it's, that's really a part of the event itself. Um, so we just couldn't do it. We have the dance teams. And I also didn't mention that next weekend on October 21st and 22nd, we will have the Iowa Wildlife Center here and they're bringing a bat and, a, and some other wildlife and going to educate us a little bit about some of the spooky characters of um, Halloween. Yeah, that's awesome. And you mentioned the pumpkins. Tell us what happens with all the extra pumpkins afterwards. Yeah, that's always a concern. And so each we have this two weekends. We can only keep the pumpkins for the first three days. So on Monday, we will be composting all of our pumpkins um, and making sure they're, they're returned to a good service. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us live this morning. And once again, Spirits in the Gardens is taking place this weekend and also next weekend. Justin. A lot of fun out there in Ames and uh, to get everyone in the spooky spirit. Thank you, Theodore Mito, reporting live from Ames. If you want to check out Spirits in the Gardens, the event runs this weekend and next weekend, and you do need to buy timed tickets. Those are available online, RymanGardens.com.